Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on longitude and latitude. In this video, we'll be looking at miscellaneous problems one. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to other videos on longitude and latitude. So we start with problem one. The points X and Y both lie on the same meridian. The latitude of X is 35 degrees north and the distance between X and Y is 12,900 kilometers. Calculate the nearest degrees, the latitude of Y. Take the circumference of the Earth to be 40,000 kilometers. So in our solution, we may need to represent the information diagrammatically for proper explanation. So the Earth is believed to be spherical in shape, uh, the central axis, the north and the south pole this is the center of the earth this is the equator we can also have the greenwich meridian zero degrees then since x and y lie on the same meridian so we can have the meridian meridian also referred to as longitude and the x lies 35 degrees north so we have the latitude 35 degrees north this point here now is x y is believed to lie in the south we don't know whether it is before or after the equator so we place it after the equator this is alpha degrees south we call it alpha degrees south and then um, this point here is point y so you can see we have a sector and this sector is along a great circle which represents the distance between x and y. We are going to be making use of this formula xy is theta over 360 2 pi r. This 2 pi r represents the circumference of the earth. So we know that our xy is 12,900 kilometers and 2 pi r which represents the circumference of the earth is 40,000 kilometers so substituting this into the formula we have 12,900 equals theta over 360 times 40,000 if we make theta the subject of the relation we have it as 12,900 times 360 divided by 40,000 so simplifying this, we have 116.1 degrees. So you can see now that Y is actually in the south since it is greater than 35 degrees north. If it is less, then we know that they are in the same region or the same hemisphere, which is north. So to get alpha now, it is going to be 116.1 degrees minus 35. This is giving us 81.1 degrees and then the latitude of y is 81 degrees south that's to the nearest degrees so that's all for the solution of problem one we then go to problem two for problem two p and q are two places on the same parallel of latitude 34.6 degrees south their longitudes are 28.7 degrees east and 11.3 degrees west respectively a is another point on the same meridian true p and its latitude is 25.4 degrees north calculate correct to three significant figures the distance p and q along the parallel of latitude b shortest distance p and q on the surface of the earth and c circumference of the circle of latitude through p so we still need again to sketch this or represent the information diagrammatically we have the spherical earth this is equator so the next thing is to get the parallel of latitude 34.6 degrees south so we have the parallel of latitude 34.6 degrees south their longitude are 
28.7 degrees east and 11.3 degrees west so we have 28.7 degrees east that's where p lies so the point of intersection of the 34.6 degrees south and 28.7 degrees east gives point p then the longitude 11.3 degrees west is given here and that's where q lies that is the point of intersection of 34.6 degrees south and 11.3 degrees west this is the point q and uh, the next thing is a is another point on the same meridian true p on the same meridian true p lies in the northern hemisphere of latitude 25.4 degrees north so we have the latitude 25.4 degrees north so the point of intersection of that's 28.7 degrees east and 25.4 degrees north gives point a here we connect and here we connect this is a small circle this is a large circle so starting from a distance p and q along the parallel of latitude is along a small circle and then um, we know the formula there is pq equals theta over 360 times 2 pi r cos alpha our theta here is going to be the angular difference that is the longitude of the two points and since one is in the east and the other one is in the west the rule is to add so we are going to have 11.3 plus 28.7 degrees giving us 40 degrees at that point our alpha is going to be the common latitude their common latitude which is 34.6 degrees we then substitute into this formula so that pq will be 40 divided by 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 since the radius of earth is 6400 then multiply by cos 34.6 degrees so in putting this in our calculator we have 3679.1 kilometers and uh, to three significant figures this is three six seven we are going to add one to this to make it three thousand six hundred and eighty kilometers three significant figures and that's all for a we then proceed to solve b for b short test distance p and a on the surface of the earth the shortest distance is this because it could be from the other side too and this is along a great circle so the formula is p a equal theta over 362 pi r and then um, our theta in this case is the angular difference which is the sum of their respective latitudes because they are in different hemispheres one is in the north the other one is in the south so we add 25.4 degrees plus 34.6 degrees and that gives 60 degrees and um, i think we are good to substitute so pa is going to be 60 divided by 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 you input this in our calculator we have 6704.8 kilometers to three significant figures is going to be 6700 kilometers since the third figure is zero and this is now up to five so we have it as 6700 kilometers as three significant figures that's the end of solution to be
we then go to C. For C, we have to calculate the circumference of the circle of latitude through A. This is this latitude the circumference. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. In this case, we are going to look for small r. So we have our formula to be c equal to 2 pi r cos alpha. Still remember that our small r is big r cos alpha. Our alpha here is the latitude of that small circle, which is 25.4 degrees. So that the circumference now will be 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 multiplied by cos 25.4 degrees. In putting this in our calculator, we have our answer as 36,339 kilometers. And to three significant figures, we are going to have 36,300 kilometers. And that's all for solution of C, and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Remember to check the description of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to other videos on longitude and latitude. Don't forget to also like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.